It's nice to know that there's somebody strong in the middle of a storm. God has given you that strength. The thief comes to steal and to kill and destroy. But God is for you. And God's got a purpose for your life. And you have strength. And that strength will bring forth benefit and blessing. The Bible says, let that young man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. And let them be one flesh. And let them go forth in blessing. Why? Because your strength will make room for you. Your abilities will cause you to be employable. Your abilities will cause you to be an overcomer. You are able to accomplish things that need to be done. Don't listen to the devil. You are not an invalid. You are not brought into bondage. The Lord your God in the midst of you is mighty. The Bible says that poverty in the life of a poor person will ruin him. And there has to be a realization in this moment. You can make it. You can make it not down the street. You can make it right now. Because you're strong enough if you had to. You could work two jobs and make one paycheck if that was the best you could do. But you could say, I can make it. Every one of you can afford a wife. Every one of you can afford to be a dad. Every one of you can afford to be a blessing. Every one of you can afford to pay your tithe. Every one of you can afford to walk in victory. Every one of you are overcomers. Don't let the devil feel sorry for you. Don't let people feel sorry for you. Don't let your friends feel sorry for you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank God you are strong. You're strong emotionally, physically, mentally, and you are strong spiritually, and the devil's a liar. I said you're strong spiritually. God didn't say you just had a strong back. He said you're strong. That's from one end to the other. And you've got to demonstrate the strength to keep from having an inferiority complex. You cannot make it if you are babying weakness. If you're hanging on to weakness as a way of getting a passage in life, it will ruin you. You have to exercise your strength so that you can be a winner. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I was but a late teenager. Came out of, of actually 21, I guess, uh, about 19, 20 years of age. Left home because of an argument with my dad. Out on my own in Chicago, I believe it was at that time. Selling magazines. I mean, that's as close to the pig pit as you can get. I mean, it wasn't easy. And I wasn't even very good at it. I had to run to make up for the fact that I wasn't very good. But I moved fast enough that I was able to get enough to survive. And you men, you move fast enough, you can get enough to survive. The thief is going to come against you to steal and to kill and destroy. He's going to cause you to have a bad image of yourself. You're going to lose a sense of self-worth if you let the devil take over. But you are a young man, and a young man has a future because God's ordained your situation. He will bring you through. He will make you an overcomer. And as you go through life and develop, you're going to find that the Holy Spirit begins to move you upward. And as you move upward, it's going to be changes that come. But God will give you wisdom and knowledge. And you'll know in your situation how to make it work. You'll know in your situation how to be victorious. It won't just be religious things. It will be everything that pertains to life and godliness. God's going to be with you. God's going to bring you through because he's given you strength. Thank God for the strength that you have. Praise God for it. Rejoice. God's given you strength. Some of you feel like if you miss a meal that you're going to die. If you drink water and go three days without eating, it won't hurt you. If you go a night and a day and you don't get any sleep, it won't bother you. 
You're young men. The devil's made you party all day and all night, and you've been able to do it. But once you turn toward God, you think you can't make it if your schedule gets bent out of shape. God gives you power. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God is the one who is the author of your life. Believe God. He'll bring you through. Resist the devil. He'll flee from you. You are awesome. Don't compare yourself with other people. Just compare yourself with your journey. And as long as you're improving, thank God for it. And if you're not improving, then just let 10 times more energy be that which you ask the Lord for. And you can be victorious. You can be victorious. Somebody said to me, said, man, I, I had a chance to get a job for $5 an hour, but I wasn't going to take it. I can appreciate that. But I just asked him, I said, how much are you going to make now that you didn't take that job? He's going to make $5 less than he was going to make if he took that lousy job. Men end up taking lousy jobs until something better comes along. You don't wait for the big thing to break. You keep on going. How cheap would I work? No cheaper than I had to. But I want to tell you, if I couldn't even make...